All right, we're trying this. Let's see how it goes. Garden emergency, full blown garden emergency. So I need to try and remedy this the best I can. Romas are really common for getting blossom end rot and I know this. Get out my plant, get out of there, get out. My dogs mess with my plants on top of the insects, so that's great. Um, but yes. How? Why? I've tried. I put the calcium in the soil, everything else. So I'm going to try to do a quick save. When you do get blossom end rot, there's no saving these. Get rid of them. Get them off your plant. I saw these last night, so I took them off. Um, and I think I might see a couple more signs. So we're just going to go through the tomatoes and try to see if we have any more issues. Great. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at all of the bottoms and yep, right there. Blossom end rot. So I think the other, oh no, three of them got it. Two are good. Let's come on this side. Oh, we got some more on this side. Okay, so I have to cut these off very quickly and try to do a solution. So I got all of them off. Huge loss. That's sad. I've been trying so hard. So I'm going to do is something that I've read about and I've heard about and it makes a lot of sense. And I'm going to make a concoction that I think will work. Um, again, these are like my trial tomatoes. I know aromas are highly susceptible to blossom end rot. It's very common, especially in container plants. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and try a slurry that I'm going to put on there um, and see what happens. So I will show you how I do that. Garden lime. So when you read the ingredients in garden lime, garden lime, First ingredient, it's 21% calcium, but then it has like the magnesium and the sulfur and everything else. So I'm gonna try to turn this into uh, stuff my plant can eat, like very quickly to try and help to where my other tomato blossoms don't get blossom end rot. So you take the garden lime and it's your choice. You can mix it in water, or if you wanna try to get some of it to break up, you can mix it with a little bit of vinegar and now it's going to be diluted so it's not going to be that big of an issue for your plants and yes this can affect and raise your pH over time you just got to be careful and keep an eye on it so I'm going to go ahead and throw in a couple handfuls into this mix it up and then see what happens okay so I got my vinegar in here and I should probably be using a bigger container but I don't got one so this is what we have um, and you want to take a few handfuls and put it into there but my bag and I don't do very big handfuls so I'm gonna do a few of them I'm just gonna dump it out. Alright, so we can see it's bubbling and that's breaking down everything in here to a more soluble area to work good for our plants. So now I'm going to take and I'm going to mix this with the water and see what happens. Now technically, this concoction is no longer organic. So ridiculous. People eat sawn vinegar chips and all this other stuff, but you do a little bit of concoction on some natural materials and it no longer is organic.
Now I have my bucket of slurry. I'm gonna go ahead and put that on my plants and try to treat them. Um, you don't wanna overdo it, but you wanna give them enough. And the problem is, is that I watered already. So I don't wanna overwater them. I've been very consistent with my watering and I don't wanna start overwatering them, underwatering them, any of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour it on and we'll just see what happens. I think I'm gonna do, I got a 16 ounce cup, three of them on each cup and we'll see how it goes. done I did have a bit more than I thought um, last year no idea what to do with boss Mendrot. this year I'm trying and I think next year I might actually try this sulfur concoction garden lime um, prior to so like when I'm first getting my blossoms and see if that makes a difference but now I have to check for any female flowers so I can go ahead and fertilize them So there is a female flower, and we're just going to go after the male flowers and get some pollen. Come on, male flowers, where are you? <laughs> okay, so now to my loofah plant. We're looking for flowers that have a little bulb in them. They're like once you find them, so like up here, that's gonna be a girl flower. Oh, right there's a girl flower. So I'm gonna go ahead and pollinate them with some of my boy flowers. Okay, so I've made the mistake of seeing what an artichoke flower looks like, and they're gorgeous. Um, so I'm excited for those to come in. But I also, I had one girl cucumber and one girl loofah, so I fertilized those and we're just gonna wait and see what happens. So that was today, hopefully I've saved my tomatoes and we will wait and see what happens.